everyone, it's me Shauna D on behalf of facepaintingtips.com. Today I'm here to show you this really pretty um, spring floral design. It's really fast and really easy and I know you're going to get lots of mileage out of it at your upcoming spring and Easter events. So if you want to learn this design, keep watching. Okay, to get this design started, we're going to start with a purple and white split cake and a three quarter inch brush. I'm going to wet your brush and then just kind of glide it across your split cake like this. And we're going to start with making just a few petals. Now this design is going to go in a C shape, just right around the eye area. So we're going to start here. And your first petal is going to be right around here. You're just going to kind of wiggle your brush, just like that. And you know what, that's a little bit damp. I can feel that it's damp. So I'm going to let that one just kind of dry and I'm going to move on to my other ones before I layer it. So the next one we're going to do down here. So just kind of three little wiggle motions. We'll come back up here and add another one. And we're going to put one right kind of just off to the side here. Just like that. And then we're going to do one right here. I'm going to make that one a little bit bigger. Just like that. Okay? So in real time, this is going to be lightning fast. So next, we are going to move on. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to put in the background color. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a little background color now. You would do this before. I'm just using a little metallic white, so it's not going to really mess up the design at all. If I go back and just kind of fill in. So I'm going to just fill in right around, because really I just want the color as sort of a, a highlight, because, you know, it's just flush colored here. So I just kind of want it as a highlight. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dark green. By the way, these are all global colors. This is um, Green Deep, and I'm going to use a number three round brush. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the shape, that pretty C shape that we've got going on. First, I'm going to start at the tip of my flowers at the base, kind of push and flick my brush. Same thing, push, make it flat, and then give it a nice little flick. And we'll do one down here. And as you're coming up on your brush, make sure that you're coming up all the way to the tip so you get that really fine line. So now I'm just going to make some little stems taking the very, very tip of my brush, just like that. And like that. See how they connect? Do a little tiny one here, just as a, like a little flick. And so now I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to do some random little stems coming out. So we'll do one there. Let's pretend like one was coming from beneath here, and maybe it crossed right there. One right there. And it's looking a little naked under here, so I'm going to put another one right here. And the little one there. And one right there. So I think we're going to stop right about there. Now I'm going to load up some white on a number six round brush. So it looks like that. And we are going to do some double loaded flowers. 
Okay, I've loaded up some white on my number six round brush. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of a magenta color, just like this one here. I'm gonna wipe off the tip of my brush on a wet wipe. And then I'm gonna dip in my brush here, and I'm gonna pick up that color. And I lightly misted my paint first so that it's a little bit wet. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this blue just right on the tip. Okay, so it looks like that. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna put in our double loaded flowers. And we're going to start down here, right here, and just press and press, just like that. And we're going to do two more here, press and press, okay, and we'll do two here, press, press. And we'll do just one right there, just like that. We'll do one. Okay, so now that we've got our little petals in there, with that same number three round brush that we originally did our vines with, I'm going to use a little bit of neon green from Global. And I'm going to load up my brush and just kind of highlight a little bit. Give a little bit of dimension. So, just like that. And brighten it up a little bit. See the difference? This is an extra step. You don't have to go this far if you're in a hurry. Okay, so with that number six brush, cleaned off the colors, and now I'm just going to put in some dots. And there you go. So the last thing you would do is, of course, add glitter. So let me grab some glitter, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna dampen my finger and I'm gonna take a little bit of the lavender glitter and just at the base right here, I'm gonna pop on a little bit of glitter. Just like that. Yee. Everything's better with glitter. And here is your finished spring floral design. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. For everything that I used, head on over to facepaintingtips.com and I will see you soon. Bye.